Opening a retail store, you're probably well aware that costs pile up fast. Rent, inventory, staffing, your margins can vanish before you even open your doors. Your point of sale system should help your business grow, not eat your profits. So when you hear about free POS systems, well, everyone loves free, especially when you're just starting out. But here's the thing, free POS systems always come with a catch. Today, we're breaking down the top six free POS systems and the hidden ways that they will bleed your profits. So if you're opening a new store, I want to protect your cash. This video is for you. So hey, I'm Michael. I lead the marketing team at Corona POS. We help thousands of retailers across the US from trendy single location neighborhood wine shops to national smoke shop and convenience store chains. Uh, and we help them grow more profitable and scalable businesses. I've been in the retail POS game for over 10 years. And today I'm going to show you what free POS really means, what to watch out for, and how to keep more profits in your pockets. So first, the question is, is free POS real? Kind of, but not really. Many POS systems offer a free plan, but cut out the features you actually need. And the hidden fees pop up fast. Processing, support, reporting, inventory, integrations, you name it. Sadly, retailers get hit especially hard, uh, especially when your margins are already tight. So now, just a quick shameless aside, Corona POS is absolutely not free, and merchants should actually like this. Not only are free products going to give you the quality you'd expect for something free, but you better believe the companies behind them are going to find a way to make their money. Whether it's add-ons, overpriced processing, long-term contracts, or endless fine print, you won't get the transparency that has so many merchants switching to Corona POS. Okay, enough of that. Uh, jumping in now, free POS number one, we're going to talk about Square. Square POS is one of the most widely used free POS systems in the US, and it's really popular for small cafes, food trucks, boutique retailers, things like that. If you're opening a retail shop and you want something that works right out of the box, it's easy to see why people choose Square. It's sleek, it's user-friendly, it's perfect if you're a restaurant or a small shop owner who needs a simple way to take payments quickly and efficiently. So let's discuss a little bit more about the good stuff about Square. Square's free plan gives you basic POS tools, including inventory tracking, reporting, and the ability to ring up sales on a tablet or a phone. Super easy to set up. You don't need a lot of tech experience, which is great. Now the drawbacks. You're locked into their payment processing rate at 2.6% plus 15 cents per transaction, the latter part of which they quietly just raised from 10 cents. That might not sound like much at first, but it really adds up over time and it's way higher than most merchants need to be paying. You want features like inventory management, team management, marketing tools, those aren't free either. They'll cost you $60 or more per month or add-on. Remember when I mentioned that free POS plans are usually full of hidden fees or expensive add-ons? Square, again, is no exception. Here's where it gets really interesting. It's not just the basic features that I mentioned that cost extra. Square loyalty costs $45 per month. Square marketing ranges from $15 to $100 per month, depending on how much you use it. Hardware bundles can cost anywhere from $300 to $800 if you want the full setup. So let's do a quick scenario here with Square to illustrate just how much it can cost a small business. Sorry to pick on Square, but they're the first one we're discussing today, so too bad. Let's say you run a small restaurant with two POS terminals and you want normal POS features. That's 49 bucks per month per terminal. Support, add another $100 per month. Most restaurants need a kitchen display system. That's $20 per month. Plus the hardware, each full terminal setup is nearly $800. Lastly, you have to factor in the processing fees. Let's say your restaurant does 30K in monthly sales with an average of 600 different transactions per month. That's $870 per month in your processing fees alone. So for a product that really likes to market itself as free, this relatively standard example of a restaurant operation will be paying $1,208 per month plus nearly $1,600 for hardware. So while the system ever advertises itself as free, the moment you try to run a growing business, the costs really start piling up and they pile up fast. Next up, Shopify. Shopify POS is an interesting option because it's mostly known for online stores, but it does offer a retail POS too. Shopify recently eliminated its free plan, POS Lite, but it does still offer a starter plan for $5 a month, which for today, we're going to include it in the free POS options. This allows users to sell through social media and messaging apps or a simple online store. Its normal basic plan now starts at $39 per month. It does integrate seamlessly with your Shopify online store, making it easy to manage your products and sync your inventory. 
But here's the catch. Shopify Basic is, well, super basic. You don't get analytics, you don't get staff permissions or advanced inventory tools. And like Square, you're locked into Shopify payments at 2.6 to 2.9% plus 10 to 30 cents per transaction, which can really eat into your profits. If you want more advanced features, you have to upgrade the POS Grow, which is $105 per month. Simple, simple tablet terminals start at $349, and loyalty programs, those usually require third-party apps. So Shopify is really anything but free. Enjoying this breakdown, hit subscribe for more POS and retail growth tips every week, and grab our free POS Buyer's Guide. The link is in the comments below. Okay, number three is Loyverse. Loyverse is one of the few POS systems that are actually free to use in its core form. Particularly popular among small boutiques, cafes, mom and pop restaurants, and quick service retailers who want a really lightweight mobile POS that works on iOS and Android tablets or phones. So it is pretty convenient. Here are some of the benefits. The core app is free and includes sales tracking, basic inventory, and kitchen display functionality. It's a simple mobile first setup that's easy to start with. The drawbacks, offline functionality isn't the best, so you might encounter issues if your Wi-Fi goes down. Also, Loyverse doesn't offer built-in payment processing. You have to find your own processor and deal with the headaches of integration. If you want advanced inventory management, employee management, or e-commerce integrations, all of these are paid add-ons. We can't talk about free POS systems without these extra costs. The employee management costs $25 per month per store. Advanced inventory is another $25 integrations are handled via paid third-party apps, and the hardware support is really limited. Still, overall, Loyverse does seem to be one of the more genuine options, offering a more affordable version than the first two that we talked about. Now let's talk about Toast POS, our fourth free POS option. Toast is gonna fall more into the category of the first two. It's heavily aimed at restaurants, but some smaller hybrid food and retail businesses experiment with their free POS starter kit. The hardware comes with a two-year contract, which seems like a nice bonus for those in the food and beverage industry. Benefits, you get a free terminal and a system designed specifically for the food and beverage industry. It has features tailored for quick service and table management, but the drawbacks, you're locked into Toast payment processing, which has notoriously high fees. Processing fees are 2.99% plus 15 cents per transaction, higher than Square or Shopify. That two-year hardware contract means you're on the hook if you decide to switch. And because Toast is so restaurant-focused, it's not ideal for more traditional retail businesses. In fact, its cheapest retail POS starts at $90 per month with the same limitations and fees. What about hidden costs? What, with Toast, add-ons like loyalty programs, marketing tools, and advanced reporting are extra and expensive. Even essential tools like inventory management require you to contact Toast to get a custom quote for the software. Early termination fees for hardware contracts can also be hundreds of dollars. And when retailers outgrow Toast, which they often do quickly, there aren't many places they can turn without eating a bunch of fees. Grown-up POS, though, is built for retail-first businesses with flexible hardware options, processing freedom, and no binding contracts. And number five is Zettle. Zettle, formerly known as iZettle, is PayPal's mobile POS system. It's extremely popular for pop-up shops, markets, and solo entrepreneurs who just need a lean mobile-first solution. So let's talk about the benefits first. The POS app itself is free and the card reader costs just $29, pretty fair. Everything is integrated with the PayPal ecosystem, so getting started with your banking is super simple. Drawbacks, again, it's just extremely basic. There's limited product management. There's no deep inventory tracking, no real CRM or loyalty, and no integrations with accounting or e-commerce unless you DIY it. And of course, processing is limited to PayPal at 2.29 plus 9 cents per transaction. As for extra cost, you'll spend that $29 on the, on the card reader, but again, you're sacrificing functionality. Zettle's fine for side hustles, but... For retailers who want real tools, Corona provides enterprise-level inventory analytics and reporting from day one. It's not just a glorified calculator. Our last system on the list at number six is eHopper. eHopper offers a, quote, forever free plan, but it comes with limitations that really make it suitable only for the smallest businesses. For benefits, the free plan includes basic POS, inventory, and tipping. It runs on Android and Windows, which makes it flexible for different hardware types. But as for drawbacks, free users are required to use eHopper's payment processor. 
You're limited to one register, one location, and have no access to loyalty programs or integrations or multi-store support. And there's hidden fees. Advanced features require a premium plan at $40 or more per month. Support on the free tier is super limited. And most importantly, the system isn't scalable. You can't easily grow your business using the free plan. So by now you've spotted a pattern. These free POS systems, they all have one thing in common. They look free, but they cost you more than you think. Let me break it down. First, you're locked into a specific payment processor. You don't get to negotiate rates. This adds up fast. Second, you end up paying extra for tools that are critical to running any normal business. Things like advanced inventory, staff management, marketing, things like that. Third, customer support is either limited or gated behind expensive upgrade tiers. This really limits you as managers or owners as well as your employees. Let's put some real numbers to it again to illustrate. This time, we'll just look at the processing fees for a few of the examples I talked about today. Imagine you own a cafe and you process $20,000 per month in sales with 2,000 unique transactions. So an average ticket price of 10 bucks. Square at 2.6% plus 15 cents per transaction comes to $820 per month. Shopify at 2.7% plus 30 cents per transaction comes to $1,140 per month. Over the course of a year, that's nearly $10,000 in the case of Square or nearly $14,000 in the case of Shopify. Money that could have gone to hiring a part-time employee, to new store marketing, to buying new inventory. So the takeaway here, unless you're running a tiny boutique store or online shop, free POS systems are always more expensive in the long run than the more transparent subscription-based systems. Now, here's where Corona POS comes in, and here's what makes it different. First, you can use your own payment processor. You control your rates and save thousands of dollars per year compared to Square or Shopify. Built-in inventory management, there's no add-ons needed for basic uh, features like tracking products, managing your stock, or completing orders. You get free integrations, accounting, e-commerce, employee management, and more. These are all included alongside an open API if you need more customization. It's cloud-based and multi-location ready. Expand your business without extra per-location fees. Corona makes this easy. Plus, support is huge. 24-7 real support with real people whenever you need help. There's no paywalls, there's no delayed responses, and it's all in-house. Now, there are certain features in Corona that come with additional costs, like ticketing turnstiles or franchise management or custom-generated sales reports. We do offer these kinds of advanced features, but these are built for enterprise businesses, and the pricing for each is still transparent, so that no one's ever getting surprised by an unexpected bill, and these kinds of features aren't usually needed for your run-of-the-mill retail operation. Plus, there are no sur surcharges or cancellation fees. So basically, overall, free POS systems really feel like a trap. They slowly drain your margins, where Corona POS is built to protect your profits from day one. So for instance, using the same cafe scenario mentioned above, let's say that instead they were able to find a solution with simple interchange plus pricing. We have other videos on that. That typically puts their effective processing rate around 2% with no additional flat fee. That comes out to $400 per month in processing fees or $4,800 for the year. Even adding the terminal fee of $59 per month, the total spent on POS and processing comes out to just over $5,500, a far cry from the 10 or 14 grand that we talked about with Square and Shopify. We're not talking about a couple hundred bucks here and there. This easily saves an average business thousands of dollars per year. To wrap up, remember, the goal isn't just to get a POS system that's free. It's to get a system that actually supports your business, protects your profits, and grows with you. With the right POS, every sale, every customer, every decision works harder for your store instead of quietly draining your bottom line and suffocating you. If you're ready for a POS that actually saves you money while helping your business grow, click the link below. You can get a free, no obligation demo. We'll walk you through exactly how Corona works and how it's set up with your specific store. And if you're looking for guidance on shopping for a new POS, check out our next video, how to shop for a new POS system. It'll walk you through exactly what to look for so you'll feel better about making your decision.